Hello and welcome everyone to the seventh lecture of Synexus by the Royal College Science Association. I am your host, Dhuvandoran Malwa. And to get us started, I would like to invite the chairman of the Royal College Science Association, Lakindu Veerasinghan, to address the gathering. Good afternoon. Dear Principal Sir, Mr. MBS Gunatilaka, Vice Principals, Senior Master in Charge of Clubs and Societies, Mr. TDCP Amartunga, Senior Games Master, Mr. M. A. M. Riyas, Lecturer for today's session, Professor Vajira H. W. Disan Aika, Teachers, Prefects, and my dear fellow Royalists and all the participants. I warmly welcome you all to this special occasion, the online workshop series called is the name by the Sci Nexus. This project will help all the students to build their knowledge and their interest on various science fields. And also, this project will help them to build their career path in science fields. Today's lecturer is on a topic called genetics, conducted by Professor Vajira H. W. Dishanayaka. Professor Vajira is a very humble man and a very experienced speaker who thinks and supports to build the educational science knowledge in the younger generation. And also, he is a famous lecturer at this relevant field. And we know that he is the best person to do this session for today. I hope you all know that RCSA is an educational club who always thinks about the development of the Sri Lankan science education. And we hope you all know that we have done lots of projects to uplift the standards in our alma mater. So, I will conclude my speech from wishing you a great day and a knowledgeable day. So, thank you all and have a great day. Thank you, Aya. Just a quick reminder that the lecture is live streamed on YouTube and the link for it is now in the meeting chat. YouTube now, for the lecture, I would like to invite Chairman and Senior Professor in the Department of Anatomy, Genetics and Biomedical Informatics at the University of Colombo. Please welcome Professor Vajira H. W. Disanayaka. Sir, Mithan Sita Deshane Bhavat Thimata, Ubatai Miyara Daniya. Thank you very much. Um, I'd like to begin by um, thanking uh, uh, the organizing committee for me to talk to the students. Uh, it is indeed a pleasure for me to be here to talk to you um, as a fellow royalist um, more than anything else. And so I'd like to uh, begin by also uh, uh, greeting the principal and uh, the academic staff members who may be joining uh, the session. I would like to um, uh, begin by giving you uh, a little bit of a background about uh, how I was, um, you know, developing ideas about genetics and um, other things that you heard about, including biomedical informatics and so on while a student at Royal. So I was a student at uh, college uh, from the in the 1980s. And um, at that time, learning science, I was uh, fascinated by genetics uh, at that time. So I learned genetics um, doing uh, O-levels and A-levels, especially during my A-levels. Uh, with uh, Mrs. Rajapaksha, Mrs. Malati Fernando, Mrs. Subha Singha, uh, and a lot of other teachers who inspired us to learn biology. It was a fascinating subject and an interesting subject. But um, biology was not what I was like really good at. 
I was good at maths. So uh, by the time I got to the grade 10, I was actually getting 99, 98, 100 in, uh, uh, for maths, but I was only getting 70s for science. Um, so I had that inclination to mathematics. And we, in fact, uh, myself and a few others uh, were the first um, students who got in, uh, uh, involved and started the Royal College Computer Society in the 19. 80s in 1983-84 period um, and we um, enjoyed doing that so uh, Royal was a nice place to be in uh, we're doing all of these things computers um, we were doing uh, science and so on so in 1987 I had the opportunity to move from the best school in the country to the best um, university in the country, the medical school, the Colombo Medical School was established in 1980, uh, uh, 1890, uh, sorry, 1870. And um, so uh, it has a proud and long history. Uh, we had the best uh, professors, um, not only in the country, but even globally, our professors were world-renowned, uh, and um, uh, we uh, continue to, you know, have those traditions. So for uh, these days, I know everybody's trying to leave the country, but I should say you should be leaving the country, you should be remaining in the country and helping to develop it. That's what we are all doing. We've all at some point in time had an experience outside of the country and come. So um, we were at the faculty uh, in the 1990s it was a nice place to be in. Uh, the royalists uh, like myself and others, uh, we were actually, um, we got into the Medical Students Union and we were leading the faculty uh, in 1995 when the faculty celebrated the 125th anniversary. I was the president of the Medical Students Union and we gave leadership to all the things that students were doing. And so the medical fraternity, med uh, medical profession is a place where there are lots of uh, royalists who are in leadership position uh, and um, uh, it is a good place to be in. So from uh, medical school I went to um, uh, Nottingham in the UK where I read for my PhD. It was a really good time to go there because in 2001 when I went there, 2001 was the year the human genome was first sequenced and uh, unveiled. So um, it was in February 2001, and I went to Nottingham in February 2001 to read for my PhD. And uh, then I came back. Um, I was determined I wanted to develop these things in Sri Lanka. And I came back and I joined uh, uh, the Department of Anatomy. Um, the Department of Anatomy is a place with a long history. Um, it, uh, this building, if you were to enter the Faculty of Medicine of the University of Colombo, uh, the building where the anatomy department is currently located is um, the oldest building in the entire university system in Sri Lanka. It was built in 1913. So like, you know, getting into anatomy uh, building is like a, uh, going into a, a, you know, a historic place. And uh, so that's, we all, you know, look forward to that. And I was actually inspired when I was a student by this man over here. He's not a royalist, he's a, a Josephian. Um, uh, sorry, he's Peter Wright. Um, uh, he's uh, um, Professor Rohan Jayasekara, who was the professor of anatomy, as well as the uh, 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 director of human genetics at that time. So uh, I was uh, inspired working uh, uh, with him. Um, and uh, as you know, we always say in our uh, royal anthem, uh, you know, we learn of books and learn of men. And the field of medicine is a place where you learn of men. A lot of, uh, you know, you learn a lot from men and women that you interact with your teachers. And so um, I had that opportunity to learn from uh, Professor Jayasekar, although he was not a royalist, he's, uh, 
uh, children were all, um, uh, all, uh, all his sons, he had three sons, all were royalists. So um, uh, we were uh, really uh, a good team to work with. Um, and of course, um, you get to follow in that uh, uh, opportunity to follow in uh, the path that they lay. And so if you look at the Department of Anatomy, uh, it's a department which a long history. So uh, the, in the introduction, uh, the, uh, the uh, president said that it is, uh, uh, I was a chairman of the department. So um, actually when you go back to history, the department of anatomy is the one which has the longest unbroken chairs in that department. So from 1927 until now, um, it has the uh, longest unbroken chain of chairs in the entire uh, university system in Sri Lanka. So um, to be a part of, uh, you know, uh, history, to be a part of, uh, uh, you know, people with tradition, um, uh, you know, you can always have that in Sri Lanka. If you go out of the country, you'll be another foreigner in another person's country. You may make a lot of money, but you would not be part of this history that you built, that we build. So if you really go through some of these people, um, I'm sure if I mention the names, you will not know them, but um, all of them really have, uh, um, uh, you know, made a uh, real mark in society, in the country, developing medicine, the field of medicine and so on, and also contributed internationally. So the so the why did I join the Department of Anatomy? So the Department of Anatomy is the place where you learn genetics and the genetic services are developed. But today, as the introduction said, we have expanded things. So in Sri Lanka also we are expanding things. And now, of course, we've got a fully fledged Department of Anatomy, Genetics and Biomedical Informatics. Uh, which um, have actually really uh, opened up um, uh, newer possibilities. So this is uh, architectural drawing of our new building, which we are more going to move into um, next, um, uh, hopefully next year, January next year. And uh, we've got several floors in this big 17-story uh, building, which is the biggest building in the entire university system in Sri Lanka. So we've been able to you know, we continue to, you know, grow that history. Not only do we live in that history that was created by our predecessors, but we are also creating more and more uh, fascinating history for this country, as well as developing the services. So um, why I wanted to tell this story is uh, that um, as royalists, um, you know, we need to, um, continue to, uh, we, we need to continue to um, contribute to developing this country in multitude of ways. And uh, along the way, um, I had the opportunity of also um, uh, becoming the Dean of the Faculty of Medicine um, in the university. So if you were to enter, any one of you uh, who are listening were to enter the medical faculty, uh, one of the first people you will meet will be me. And then, of course, as long as I'm the chair anatomy, the first lecture that you will get uh, will be from uh, from me. So, um, so you can look forward to or not uh, uh, learning from me and listening to me when you come to the medical faculty, depending on whether you like this lecture today or not. Okay, so that's the background that I wanted to give you. So, um, what would you prefer me to do? Continue in English or switch to Sinhala? I will probably do a mix of it. Um, uh, if... Yes, sir. That will be okay. Okay. So um, now I know when I, uh, uh, so I, my children are now in O levels and A levels. So I go and look at their books. And sometimes I uh, go and sit and listen to their. Uh, online lectures they are doing with school or the tuition uh, teachers. Um, so I can tell you, they were learning a lot of genetics. Um, and uh, 
much more genetics than uh, uh, I teach you when you come to the medical faculty and even you are in the first year. So, um, uh, so you are learning a lot of facts, but uh, facts are good, but how do you apply it? What do these things mean? ourselves. If we have to see how, after all, genetics is us. So therefore, we need to see how it applies to us. Kohumad apiteka galapen ne. Then api ape paula diha valuat. Ammai thattai duai putai adugani inna ne. Kodi paula ka. Evage paula ka. I think api avasana vashen gatto. Tape sieluma deval. Ape hadarua. Api hadarana lederoga. Api karana kiena samhara deval. Hamadeya akma tirane avane. Ape jana sangitya anuva. Extended family, cousins line, Mulu Samaj, Samaj, Apigiane, Samaj, Podi Kalak, in Api Hamoma, make Podi Kalak. I think Api Atram Hitler Baluhammer, may Mulu Samaj, Apetiana, Mulu Jana, Sangitia Gatahammer, Apikiwat Mulu Sangitia Maker, Eka Kakela, Api Hamadenama, Eke Kotaskar, Yamkisi Kotasa. Api Hamati Sema Ahana de Aktamai Api uh Ekinekata Kochara uh Samanda the Jana me matame api ekina kochara samana the api ekinekata kochara venasta kinek. Then api um hitala value, then other api metana me so meet in a kina katya me um api anit katya gatta tem, api hamoma gatta tema me um uh YouTube stream Muslim, Api Hamom, Ape Jana Sangutia Jan Sangutia and Gatta Tihemo, Sieta Anu Name, Dasama, Namiakma, Ekaha Samana. The Nanakan is Adama, Pione, Api Hamom, Homo sapiens, Aragia, become a species. Habei Api Atarat, Podipodi Venus come Tiana, a Venus come with. Api to the Naganaka Vadagat. Happy, um, happy, uh, Shavidale Manavai by the Kake, Parikshana, uh, no good Parikshana Karana, Parikshana Karanapatapi, Balati, and Ape Sangitia, Kokomada, Ape Sangitia, May Samaja, Kanit, Loka, Anit Samaja take a galloping, and Tratwal in Minnesota take a galloping, a commentary. Metana, Mama Penum Carlatine, E. Gana, Yamkisia, the Haksak dinner, Rupa Satahan Kipak. Then may Palaveni, Satahana dia Balwat the Hema. Yes, Satahane, Penum Carane, um, Miss Satahane Penum Carane, um, a picking of genetic distance, a kakir. May genetic distance a kino, Lankawe, Tiena, Samaje, Singhala, Demala, Moa, Akiana, Kandayam Tune, Eka, our machine Panas, then a kit in a Jana Sangate, Sansan, the Nekara, Singhala, Tamils, and Moors. 
අපි ඒකලද ඉහ බැලුවත් එහෙම අපිට පේනවා හැම දෙනාම එකට ක්ලස්ටර් වෙනවා ඒක එකට ඉන්න අපෙන් එක කට්ටියක් එක කෙනෙක අනිත් කට්ටිය අනිත් කරෝලේ අනිත් කට්ටිය තව කරෝලක නැහැ අපි ඔක්කොම එක කණ්ඩායම සිංහල දෙමළ මෝ කියන අපි අතරේ ඒ ජාන සංගීතයේ වෙනස්කම් ඉතාම අල්පයි ඒක ඉතින් පුදුම වෙන දෙයක් නෙමෙයි අපි අපි එකම සමාජය මේ රටේ මේ පොඩි දිවයිනක් මේ දිවයිනේ අවුරුදු දහස් ගානක් එකට ජීවත් වෙලා තිබුණා නොයෙකු පොඩි පොඩි වෙනස්කම් තිබුණට ඒවා ජාන මේ වෙනස්කම් නෙමෙයි ඒවා මේ අපගේ මේ කල්චරල් වෙනස්කම් සම්ප්‍රදායන් වල ඇති වෙච්ච වෙනස්කම් ඉතින් ඒක නිසා අපි ඒක මේ කෙම පැහැදිලි වෙනවා අපි අපේ සංයුතිය සංසන්දනය කරලා බැලුවොත් එහෙම අනිත් දක්නු ආසියාවේ නොයෙකුත් පොපියුලේෂන්ස් එක්ක දැන් මෙතන සිංහල ටැමිල් ස්මෝස් ඊළඟට ඉන්නේ ගුජරාටිස් ඊළඟට පංජාබිස් බෙංගාලිස් මේ ශ්‍රී ලංකන් ටැමිල්ස් ඉන් යූකේ STU කියන්නේ ඉන්ගලන්ත ගිහිල්ලා ඉන්න ශ්‍රී ලංකාවේ දෙමළ අය ITU කියන්නේ ඉන්ගලන්ත ඉන්දියන් ටැමිල්ස් ඉන් යූකේ අපි ඒ කණ්ඩායම ඔක්කොම ටික එක දාලා එකට බලුවා ඒත් අපි ඔක්කොම එක සමානව ඉන්නවා මේ අපි එතකොට තවත් දුරටත් පැහැදිලි වෙනවා ශ්‍රී ලංකාවත් ආදි අධික කාලයේදී ඉන්දියන් මහද්වීපය එක්ක සම්බන්ධයක් තිබුණා ඒ සම්බන්ධයත් එක්ක ඉතින් අපි තේ නිස්සම්ක්ෂණයට සහභාගී වුණා ඉතින් ඒක නිසා අපි ඔක්කොම එක කණ්ඩායමක් හැබැයි අපි ඒක ටික දුරට ගෙනිච්චොත් එහෙම අපි මේ අපේ ශ්‍රී ලංකාවේ කණ්ඩායම් සිංගප්පූරුවේ ඉන්න अवसान कारण यूरोपेटीना ඊට පස්සේ සිංගප්පූරුවේ මැලේ ඇන් මෝ චයිනීස් මේ තමයි යුරෝපීය ජනකයි ඉතින් ඒ තොට පැහැදිලි වෙනස්කමක් දකින්නවා ඉතින් අර මම කිව්ව වගේ 199 දශක 9ක් අපි එක හා සමාන වුණාට ඒ 100 දශම එකක් වෙනස්කම් අතරේ අපිට දකින්න පුළුවන් නොයිකුත් වෙනස්කම් ඉතින් මේකේ වැදගත්කම මොකක්ද මේ වැදගත්කම තමයි මෙතන අපි සංසන්දනය කරලා බැලුවේ අපිට අපි බෙහෙතක් ගත්තාම ඒ බෙහෙත් අපේ ඇඟ තුල ක්‍රියාකාරී ක්‍රියාකාර වෙන ආකාරය නිර්ණය කරන ජාන වෙනස්කම් තමයි අපි මෙතන සංසන්දනය කරේ මේ වෙලාවේ සංසන්දනය කරනකොට එතකොට අපිට පැහැදිලිව පේනවා ඒ ජාන සංයුති වෙනස්කම නිසා यूरोपियन जनगहन वाले में बाल बाल पान समाहरण बेहतर था हम बाल पान ये बार उनके अगर तुला क्रियाकारी बिना आकार या बिना स्वयं न पुलवा आप इटा बड़ा आप इगा था हम आप एक बिना स्वीडन का टा एक मेटाबलाइज्ड स्वयं न पुलवा ये लांग टा चीन चीन मले आया का था में एक थावा विधि का टा मेटाबलाइज्ड स्� जान वे मैंने मैं वाके तीरना वाला था मैं समाजे नौ कुत खंडाय मात्र थी ना वेनास काम वैध करते थे मैं हेतु वाले साथ हमारी तय नौ गुला मैं लांग दी हालाती फार्म को जीनोमिक्स के ला हालाती पर्सनलाइज मेडिसिन के ला हालाती या मैं वाके वचन अपे वाइड शब्द को वैसे टाइप नहीं लती है ना मैंने मैं दानुमात एक अपे ये वेनास काम � 
අපිට එය වෛද්‍ය ශාස්ත්‍රයට භාවිත කරලා කොහොමද ඔවුන්ට දෙන බෙහෙත් වර්ග වෙනස් කරන්නේ කියන බෙහෙත් වර්ග වෙනස් කරන්න කොහොමද ඒ වගේ මාත්‍රා වෙනස් කරන්න කොහොමද දෝස් එක වෙනස් කරන්න කොහොමද මොනවද මේ වගේ දෙයක් තුලන් සයිඩ් ඉෆෙක්ට්ස් කියලා බලන්න අන්න ඔය වගේ දේවල් කරන්න තමයි මේ වගේ වෙනස්කම් වැදගත් වෙන්නේ හැබැයි ඒක අපි සමාජමය වශයෙන් අහන ප්‍රශ්නයක් තියෙන නිසා තමයි මම මුලින්ම ඒක දැම්මේ අපේ අර 100ට 99 දශමලමයක් අපි ඒක හා සමාන වුණත් සියලු මානව වර්ගයා අපේ තියෙන ඒ පොඩි වෙනස්කම් නොයෙකුත් සමාජවල පැහැදිලිවම වෛද්‍යමය තීරණ ගැනීම උදෙසා වැදගත් වෙනවා හැබැයි අනිත් දේවල් වලට මේ වෙනස්කම මම හිතන්නේ වැදගත් නැහැ අපි හැම දෙනාම මිනිස්සු වශයට වශයෙන් වාද වේද නැතුව සලකන්න ඕනි කියන එක තමයි ජානමය දත්ත වලින් පැහැදිලි වෙන්නේ 2010 දී අපිට අවස්ථාව ලැබුණා මුළු ශ්‍රී ලංකාවේ ශ්‍රී ලාංකිකයෙක්ගේ මුළු ජාන සංයුතියම විශ්ලේෂණය කරලා එය අනිත් ඒ කාලේ තමයි මේ මේ වගේ හැකියාවක් ඇති වුණේ තාක්ෂණයේ මේ තත්ත්වයට දියුණු වුණේ ඒ තත්ත්වය 2010 දී අපිට කරන්න පුළුවන්කම ලැබුණා ඒක මේ අපි ඒක ලෝන්ච් කරපු වෙලාව ඉතින් අපි ඒ අවස්ථාවේදී ඒ කාලෙදී නොයෙකුත් අනත් අනිත් රටවල් වලත් මුලටම ජීනෝම්ස් මුළු වශයෙන් සීක්වන්ස් කරලා දත්ත ලැබිලා තිබුණා ඉතින් අපි මේ තත්ත්වත් සංසන්දනය කරලා බලනකොට නොයෙකුත් නොයෙකුත් විද්‍යාත්මක විශ්ලේෂණ වලට එන්න පුළුවන් හැබැයි මම මෙතන ඒක කරන්න යන්න නැහැ මේ තියෙන වෙනස්කම් මහා ලොකු වෙනස්කම් නෙමෙයි ඉතින් ඒක නිසා එතන එතන අපිට අර ලොකු වෙනස්කමක් වෙන්නන්න පුළුවන් කමක් නැහැ මෙතන බැලුව හැටි සමහර කෙනෙක් අහන්න පුළුවන් අපේ වෙනස්කම් අඩුයිද අපේ ඊට පස්සේ තියෙන නව සොයා ගැනීම අඩුයිද අර මේවා කියලා හැබැයි එහෙම තත්ත්වයක් අපිට නිර්ණය කරන්න බැහැ මෙතනින් ඉතින් ඒ क्रियात्मक අපේ ඇඟේ තියෙනවා වර්ණ දේහ 46ක් මේ වර්ණ දේහ 46 අම්මගේ විස්තුනක් ඇවිල්ලා තාත්තගේ විස්තුනක් ඇවිල්ලා තමයි හැදෙන්නේ මේ වර්ණ දේහ 46යේ එතකොට අම්මගෙන් ආපු විස්තුනයි තාත්තගෙන් ආපු විස්තුනයි තියෙනවා මේවා අපිට දැන් මේ පින්තූරේ අපේ දිනපත අපේ ලැබ් එකේ හදන එකක් මොකද අපේ पेशेंट लाइन विश्लेषणेक्रेक्ट कर लमला ंगे वैद्यमय वशेन 
හේතුවෙන ජාන වෙනස්කම් ඔයින් එහාට අපි එච්චර හිතන්නේ නැහැ අපි ඕනෙම පෞලක් දිහා බැලුවත් ඔයගොල්ලෝ දන්නවා මේ පෙඩික්ට් එකක් අඳිනකොට ස්ක්වෙර්ස් වලින් මේල්ස් ලා සර්කල්ස් වලින් ෆීමේල්ස් ලා ඉතින් මොන හරි ලෙඩක් තියෙනකොට අපි ඒක පාට කරනවා අපි සාමාන්‍යයෙන් ඕනේ පෞලක දකිනවා මොන හරි ලෙඩක් තියෙන කෙනෙක් ඉන්නවා ඒකට අපි කියනවා අනික ස්පොරැඩික් ඔකරන්ස් ඔෆ් ඩිසීස් කියලා සමහර වෙලාවට සමහර පවුල් වල ඉන්නවා කීප දෙනෙක්ට යම් කිසි ලෙඩවල් තියෙනවා උදාහරණයක් දැන් අපි ගත්තොත් එහෙම බොහෝ පවුල් වල ඔයගොල්ලන් බලුවොත් එහෙම ඔයගොල්ලන් ඇන්දල මාමල මේ ඔයගොල්ලන්ගේ දුතුන් දෙනෙක්ට ඔන්න දියවැඩියාව ප්‍රෙෂර් හයි බ්ලඩ් මේ හාට් ඩිසීස් ඒවා මොන හරි තියෙන්න පුළුවන් ඒ වෙලාවේ අපි දැන් අර පළවෙනි කණ්ඩායමේ ෆැමිලි ස්පොරැඩික් එකේ වැඩිය ජාන ගැන හිතන්නේ නැහැ මේ දෙවනි කණ්ඩායමේ මේ අවස්ථාවේදී යම් කිසි පසු ජාන මේ පසු බිමක් මේ ලෙඩ වලට තියෙන්න පුළුවන් හැබැයි ඔවුන්ගේ තියෙන බෑඩ් හැබිට්ස් නිසා තමයි මේක වෙන්නේ ඩ්‍රින්කින් ස්මෝකින් ඊට පස්සේ ජන්ක් ෆුඩ් එන්වයිරන්මන්ටල් පොලියුෂන් අන්න ඔය වගේ දේවල් නිසා තමයි ඔක වෙන්නේ ඉතින් ඒක නිසා ඉතින් අපිට පේනවා ඉතින් ඉස්සරහ ගත්තොත් මේ කොල්ලන්ගේ තමයි අපි ඒක තමයි අපි කියන්නේ මේ නරක කෑම ගන්න එපා ජන්ක් ෆුඩ් ගන්න එපා මැක්ඩොනල්ඩ්ස් යන්න එපා මේ නැත්තම් කොත්තු ගන්න එපා ඉතින් ඒ වගේ ඔය වගේ දේවල් කියන්නේ මොකද අපේ හැමෝගෙම මේ නරක ජාන පසුබිම තියෙනවා හැබැයි ආහාර රටාව අනි smoking alcohol bad habits ඒව ආවේ නැත්තම් මේ නරක දේවල් මතු වෙන්නේ නැහැ. ඉතින් ඒක නිසා අපිට පාලනය කරගන්න පුළුවන්. හැබැයි අපිට අ පාලනය කරගන්න බැරි තත්වයක තියෙන තද බල ජාන වෙනස්කම් තියෙනවා. අපිට පෞලේ ආරට යන pattern එකක් තියෙනවා. අපි inherited pattern එකක් තියෙනවා. ඉතින් ඕනේ ලෙඩක් ගත්තොත් යම් කිසි කණ්ඩායමක් ඉන්නවා මේ inherited pattern එක තියෙනවා. ඔයගොල්ලෝ genetics එකන ගන්නකොට ඉගෙන ගනි down syndrome කියයි turner syndrome කියයි තව තව දේවල් කියයි හැබැයි අපි ඇත්තටම හිතලා බැලුවොත් එහෙම හැම හැම ලෙඩකම ජානමය පසුබිමක් තියෙනවා දැන් උදාහරණයක් අපි ගමු කොරෝනා කොරෝනා ගත්තාම කොරෝනා සමහර අයට කොරෝනා වැළඳෙනවා කිසි ප්‍රශ්නයක් නැහැ කිසිම ලෙඩක් හැදෙන්නේ නැහැ නිකන් කොරෝනා තිබිලා ඉතින් පිට වෙලා යනවා සමහර අයට පොඩ්ඩක් ටිකක් වැඩිපුර උණ ගන්නවා සමහර අයට ලෙඩේ උත්සන්න වෙලා නිමෝනියා හැදිලා නවතින සමහර අය එයින් එහාට ගිහිල්ලා මිය යනවා ඇයි එහෙම වෙන්නේ ඒ අපගේ තියෙන ජාන සංයුතිය අනුව කොච්චර ප්‍රතිතම්මේ අපගේ ඉමියුන් සිස්ටම් එක කොච්චර ස්ට්‍රොන්ග් ද කියන එක අනුව තමයි ඉතින් සමහර අයගේ වෙරි ස්ට්‍රොන්ග් ඉතින් ඒකත් එක්ක ඒගොල්ලන්ට හොඳ රෙස්පොන්ස් එකක් දාලා වෛරස් එක පාලනය කරන්න පුළුවන් සමහර අයගේ ඉමියුන් රෙස්පොන්ස් එක හරි වීක් ඒක නිසා දරුණු රෝගයක් හැදෙනවා ඒක ඒක පිට තවත් ඒගොල්ලන්ට දියවැඩියාව ප්‍රෙෂර් ඒ වගේ තවත් දේවල් තියෙනවා ඉතින් ලෙඩේ උත්සන්න වෙලා මිය යනවා ඉතින් අන්න ඕක තමයි පසුබිම ඒක ඔයගොල්ලෝ අපි අර පොතේ දකින්න ජානමය ලෙඩම අවශ්‍ය නැහැ ජාන පසුමක් තියෙන හැම ලෙඩේටම ජාන පසුමක් තියෙනවා අද කාලේ අපි දන්න දේවල් අනුව ඉතින් එතකොට අපි ඔය හැම ලෙඩක්ම ගත්තොත් වැඩිපුරම තියෙන්නේ එක්කෙනෙක්ට ඔහේ පවුල් තියෙනවා දෙවනි කාට්ටායම තමයි ඒගොල්ලන්ගේ පවුල කීප දෙනෙක්ට ඒ ලෙඩේ තියෙනවා ඉතින් අවසාන වශයෙන් කණ්ඩායමක් ඉන්නවා ඒ වැඩි දෙනෙක්ට ඒ පවුලේ ඒ ලෙඩේ තියෙනවා ආරට යනවා මේ ජෙනරේෂන් ස්කීප් එක ඒ ලෙඩේ තියෙනවා ඉතින් අන්න ඔය දැනුම තමයි අපි උපයෝගී කරගන්නේ ක්ලිනික් එකේදී ඒ දැනුම උපයෝගී කරගෙන ලෙඩ ගැන තියෙන පසුබිමක් දන්න පසුබිමක් අරගෙන එතකොට අපි යම් කිසි කෙනෙක් අපි ළඟට ආවහම අපි ලෙඩේ පළවෙනි කරන පළවෙනි කාරණය තමයි අපි ඒක ඒක ලෙඩේ රෝග නිශ්චය කරන ඩයග්නෝසිස් එකට එනවා ඒක කරන්න සමහර වෙලාවට ලෙඩෙක් දැක්ක හැටිය කියන්න පුළුවන් මොකද්ද මේ තියෙන ලෙඩේ කියලා. හැබැයි අනිත් අයට මොන හරි ටෙස්ට් එකක් කරලා බලන්න වෙනවා මොකද්ද තියෙන ලෙඩේ කියන එක. ලෙඩේ නිර්ණය කරලා ආවට පස්සේ අපි කරන දේ තමයි ඊළඟට ප්‍රොග්නොස්ටිකේෂන්. ප්‍රොග්නොස්ටිකේෂන් කියන්නේ මොකද්ද මේ ලෙඩේ තියෙනවා නම් මොකද්ද මෙයාට වෙන්න පුළුවන් දේ කොච්චර කාලයක් ජීවත් වෙයිද? මොනවද ඇති වෙන්න පුළුවන් අනිත් සංකූලතා. 
කොච්චර කාලයක් ගිහිල්ලා දේ සංකූලතා ඇති වෙන්නේ අන්න ඒ විදිහට අපි ඒව ගැන හිතලා බලලා මොකක්ද ඒවා එක දන්න ක්‍රියා මාර්ගය මොන පෙහෙත් දීලා හොඳ කරන්න පුළුවන්ද නැත්තම් සංකූලතා ඇති වෙන එක කල් දාන්න පුළුවන්ද ආදී වශයෙන් නොයෙකුත් දේවල් කරන්න පුළුවන් ඉතින් ඊට පස්සේ අනිත් කාරණය තමයි ඒවා වලක්වන්න පුළුවන් නැවත ඊළඟ ඊළඟ ජෙනරේෂන් එකට යන එක වලක්වන්න පුළුවන් එහෙම නැත්තම් ඒ පෞලෙම පළවෙනි ළමයෙක් ඇතුනොත් යාන මේ පෙදසක් තියෙන ප්‍රශ්නයක් තියෙන තවත් ඒ වගේ ළමයි උපදින එක නවත්වන්න පුළුවන් අන්න ඔය ආකාරයට ඉතින් අපිට මේ අපිට ඒවා ගැන තීරණය කර එන්න පුළුවන් දැන් ඉතින් අපි මම අර ඉස්සලා කිව්ව වගේ අපිට ලැබ් එකේ පුළුවන් මේ වගේ ක්‍රෝමොසෝම්ස් අරගෙන ඒවා ලේ අරගෙන සයිල වගා කරලා ක්‍රෝමොසෝම් මේ විදිහට හදලා ඒවා මේ පින්තූර තියෙනවා වගේ සොෆ්ට්වෙයා සිස්ටම්ස් වලින් කැප්චර් කරලා ඒවා ඇනලයිස් කරලා රිපෝට් එකක් දෙන්න. ඉතින් නොයෙකුත් වර්ගයේ ටෙස්ට් වර්ග තියෙනවා මෙතන මම දාලා තියෙන දේවල් ක්‍රෝමොසෝම්ස් දිහා බලන්න වර්ණ දේහ දිහා බලන්න. ඉතින් අපි දිනපතා අපි ළඟට එන්න නොයෙකුත් ආකාරයේ රිටුන් එකේ මේ වගේ වර්ණ දේහ දිහා බලලා ටෙස්ට් කරලා ඒගොල්ලන්ට අවශ්‍ය ඩයග්නෝසිස් එක තීරණ කරලා ඇවිල්ලා අපෝපදෙස් දීලා අනිත් ඩොක්ටර්ස් වල මොනවාද ඒගොල්ලන්ට කරන්න පුළුවන් දේවල් මොනවාද කියලා අපි සයිට් කරලා අපි ඊළඟට ඒගොල්ලන්ට උපකාර කරනවා. ඉතින් ඒක එක කොටස්ය. ඒ වගේම මම කිව්වා වගේ දැන් මේ වර්ණ දේහ ඇතුලේ මොනවාද තියෙන වර්ණ දේහ ඇතුලේ තියෙන ජාන. ඉතින් මේ වර්ණ දේහ ඇතුලේ තියෙන ජාන දිහා බැලුවොත් එහෙම ඉතින් ඒ ජාන ोकुत सिंगल जीन वेरियंट्स दिहा बालन न पुलवांग अभी तो मुली जान दिहा बालन न पुलवांग ये मन तंग ओक्कम जान दिहा बालन न पुलवांग ये मन तंग मुलु जान सांगितियम जान वाली इलियट की या मुली जीनों में कम दिहा बालन न पुलवांग मैं ये वाके कराने न पुलवांग मशीन ने कहा मैं मशीन ने का इलोमिना माइसिक किया न वैद्य मे वशन वैद्यकारण उपकारख एक खंडाय मतमायोम बल मनोहर प्रश्न तेन खंडाय प्रधान जानको मोनाद लेकिन 
නිකම නෑක දෙන්න මේක ජාන ලෙඩක්ද කියලා. ඉතින් දැන් වර්තමානයේ අපි මගේ ළඟට යම් කිසි ලෙඩෙක් එනවා නම් මම බලන්නේ මෙන්න මේ මොන විදිහටද මේගොල්ලන් එන්නේ මොන කණ්ඩායමටද ගැලපෙන්නේ කියලා ඒගොල්ලන්ගේ එතකොට ටෙස්ට් කරලා අවසාන නිගමනයකට එන්න තමයි අපි බලාපොරොත්තු වෙන්නේ. දැන් අපි ක්‍රෝමෝසෝම් ලෙඩ ගැන බැලුවොත් එහෙම බහුලම ලෙඩේ තමයි वेडिपुरुलाइल नॉर्मल निर्णयेटेन उपक्रमे मुखक्तुला उदाहरण तलसीमिया रोग या निलीन रोग या कोई बोल रहा हूँ दानव है तो आई थिंक एक ऐसा आम बाकी नुक्ता नारक जाने विनाश कमा के नॉन था ताकि नुक्ता नारक जाने विनाश कमा के नॉन आई थिंक ये जाना जाना विनाश काम बलिंग पहाक तमाई हम देना आटे में बैठे पूरा मती है आई थिंक मैं अभी ये जाने विनाश काम जहा� दुर्लभ रोगी um visheshayam me cancer thiyana families wala kattiya avilla kiyena ehema enna me wage kathawak me paule me avilla kiyena mata wage mata avurudu 46 i dan mata breast cancer thiyena mage akka eya mata wada kata vaiyas kenek eya avurudu 56 edi maruna ovarian cancer hadila ovary wala cancer hadila ඊට පස්සේ මගේ අම්මා අවුරුදු 32 දී නැති වුණා බ්‍රෙස්ට් කැන්සර් හැදිලා මගේ ආච්චි එයාට ගලනාලේ 
cancer එකක් හදලා තිබිලා ඔක්ක හැටේදී නැති වෙනවා දැන් මේ වගේ වෙලාවට අපි කරන දේ අපි ඔක්කොම ජාන දිහා බලනවා මේ ඔක්කොම ජාන දිහා එක පාට්ට බලනවා එක ටෙස්ට් එකක් කරනවා ඒ එක්සෝම් ටෙස්ට් එක කියන එක කරලා බැලුවාම අපිට කොහෙද ජාන වෙනස්කමක් කියන්නේ කියලා හොයා ගන්න පුළුවන් ඒතකොට ටක් ගහලා මෙයාගේ මේ පවුල් වෙලාවට වෙනස්කම් මේකයි කියලා පුනා අපිට එතන ඉඳලා අපිට ඊට පස්සේ අවශ්‍ය උපදෙස් දෙන්න පුළුවන් उपदेश जान मुखाला निगम वैद्यमे शेस्त्रे उपकारुलाम जेनेटिकल निर्देश उदाहरण उपकार कर प्रकाशकुम 
වලින් ඕගලන්ට පැහැදිලි වෙයි මේ ජාන කියන දේවල් එහෙම නැත්නම් මානව ප්‍රවේණි විද්‍යාව DNA ක්‍රෝමොසෝම්ස් මේ වාර පොත්වල තියෙන දේවල් නෙමෙයි මේවා අපි දිනපතා අපේ භාවිතයට ගත යුතු දේවල් ඉතින් එයට උත්සුක වෙන්න ඕනේ විශේෂයෙන්ම මගේ පණිවිඩය තියෙන්නේ ඕගලන් හැමෝම බලන්න ඕගලන්ගේ පවුල් එක කාටද මොන ලෙඩද තියෙන්න කියන එක ඉතින් පළවෙනි කාරණය ජාන පැත්තෙන් උපදෙසක් ගන්න ඕනේද ඒ පැත්තෙන් යම් සදයක් කරන්න ඕනේද කියන එකට පළවෙනි ගිය තමයි මේ පවුලේ හාරට යනවා නම් තද බල විදිහට කිසිම ලෙඩක් ඉතින් ඒ කාරණයත් සමගම මම කැමතියි මෙතන ඉන්නවත්තන්න ඕගලන්ගේ මොන හරි ප්‍රශ්න තියෙනවා නම් මට උත්තර දෙන්න පුළුවන් බොහොම ස්තුතියි Thank you sir Stay tuned everyone cuz we will be starting the questions and answers session shortly In the meanwhile this is a just a quick notice for everyone that there is a feedback form in the chat and i request from you that you take a moment of your time to give us your valuable feedback as it helps us to improve our quality of delivering in the upcoming lectures obage watina adahas chat ekike thiyena google form ekak haraha yomu karanna vinadiyak gatha karana lesa ma karunikawa illa sitinawa emagin apahata idiri deshana wala gunathmaka bhavaya තව දුරටත් වැඩි කර ගැනීමට උපකාරයක් වෙන බැවින් සර් යු කැන් ස්ටොප් ද ස්ක්‍රීන් ෂෙර් නවු ඔල් රයිට් නවු ඇම් ෂෝ යු ඕල් හැව් මැනි ක්වෙස්චන්ස් විච් කන්වීනියන්ට්ලි ඕපන්ස් අස් අප් ටු දි ක්වෙස්චන්ස් ඇන්ඩ් ආන්සර්ස් සෙෂන් යු කැන් සෙන්ඩ් යුවර් ක්වෙස්චන්ස් ඔන් ද ඡූම් චැට් ඔර් සෙන්ඩ් යුවර් ක්වෙස්චන්ස් ථ්‍රු ද ලයිව් ස්ට්‍රීම් චැට් ඔන් YouTube ඔබට ඇති වූ ප්‍රශ්න Zoom chat එක හරහා හෝ YouTube live stream chat එක හරහා අපොයිත් ඉදිරිපත් කරන්න. sir we have our first question uh, sir what is pcr and what's the benefit from it okay now um, if you take um, a dna molecule uh, it is a very very minute molecule right uh, so when we are doing a test we cannot do a test on this very minute molecule we have to um, identify the region of this dna uh, which we are going to test and make many copies of that segment uh, so that then we can increase the quantity of that dna in that region that we want to test and then we can test it so the a piece uh, uh, so the polymerase chain reaction or pcr enables you to make any uh, uh, make many copies of any region in the genome okay so that is the purpose of the pcr test so um, before we do any genetic test any mean any uh, any test which is looking at dna not the chromosomes right any test which is looking at dna we have to first do a pcr and make copies of the region that you are interested in and then analyze those copies so that is the purpose of the pcr test so the way pcr test has various steps that i guess you can learn from a book 
right? So that is the, uh, so what I explained to you is uh, what the purpose of PCR test. Okay, thank you, sir. We have our next question. Uh, sir, Jana Vagava Yanu Kumak. Jana Vagava Kiela Vachana. Jana Vagava Reme, chromosome culture. Um, Varna de Hanam Vagakaranapula. Eight acre me, chromos eight Vagakarana can ether and Varna de Havagakarana and me. Um, Apidam Varna de Haparichana Karano Anang Varna de Ha Ugladana, Sileak de Ha Baluat de Hema Var Sile a Varna de Ha Wing Wing Villa Pain in Monavilla. Amethystame of Wing Villa Wing Villa Pain. Nah, neither. Sileka, Sileak Nikang Tianan, Sileak Hatiana Sileka, Nastia de Habaluat, Varna de Havangan Villa Pain in it. Varna de Homa Ekata Ekatuela, a chromatin jalak Hadalatama in it. Habei Varna de Havangwing of Pain, Patangani, Sile Monavanagot, Sile. Bedi Mata Lakwena. Silent cell division necrotic Yahamatama when we pain the Patanga. Um cell division necrotic hilla, it got a mukap the way. Palavani uh uh step pecata pigena, um uh interface uh sama nente uh sama prophase, uh metaphase, anaphase, uh telophase, interface. So interface the ketamai. Sila with Bedima, Atharati and a Kale. It was a prophase secretano, Ilangata metaphase secretano. Metaphase seke di tamai, Sile, Varna de Ha, Vena Venema, Dakinapula. The Napi Mukak the Karane, Api Karane, Amkiskane, Gele, Aragatama, Leva la Monadati and Sila Varga, Raturudirana Tiana, Sudurudirana Tiana. Raturudiranu la Nastiak Tiana? Ne. Rudran Wagakaran the Behat. Sudurudran into my Wagakaran. It was Sudurudran will at a chemical lekak dam Mahama, Tikavela cannibal, Sudurudran, Beden the Pataga. Ehema Apicaranade, Sila again, blood daragena, blood velata, Dana, chemical lekak, chemical lekak dam Maham, Tikavela Yanakota, a Sudurudran, Beden the Pataga. Now, no cut at the Maidiana chromosome culture here. Eka Beden Aramba Villa. Samaning the was to knock with Rayana Pata. Sati um uh Pahatta de Kak with Rayana Pata. A metaphase secai, Matata Villa Tiene, Warna de Hab and Venema Keka Tiana, then our mama penuava gala, Senata Alala Gana Pulang with Yata uh Avila Tiana to put up a day, E Vila Vedi, Tawat chemical like Dala, Sila, Bedaneka Navatana. Navatala, Api Eka Aragan, Eka analyze Kerala, um computer software will in Aragan. Um uh our last sana pin to Radala, Abita Pulwang, Munat Varna de Hano Malda, Nat the Kiela Kia. Hari, that got a chromosome culture kiana ke aramuna and ne ekai. Sila bedena salaswala, metaphase secata avahama, bedima navatwala, varna deha analyze karanaka. Um Jana Vagawa Kiela Nangika uh uh if not tang jean culture kielaka nang uh Mama Dana Tarafan kissing of both Apipotekana Mamma and the Kerala. Okay, thank Jana you. Sir. Can you uh, a level textbooks of Avichi? Sir, uh, recorrection of a Kavalatino Ibajania, we may be here. A Jana Vibajan, um, um, uh, may I can it, um, uh, Cell uh, Ethanat got to him a can a sile divide when a with her cell division a kedi. Um, uh, Benade Tamai, um, uh, me Varna de her, uh, daughter cell solitanoane, thing, uh, wing wing will I anava. Have I, um, Mamma than, uh, John of Vipajane can a king at the Haskarim Kaktiki like English in Babitaka and watching him Kaktiki Ladana. Put it in order.
so we seem to have no responses okay we'll skip that anyway you can share my email with anybody and they can always okay. uh, we can have always have a discussion okay sir uh, we have our next question uh, what is the difference between a pcr and a rapid ant antigen test uh මූලික ප්‍රශ්න මූලික කාරණය තමයි PCR test එක කියන්නේ ජාන සංගීතයේ බලන test එකක් rapid antigen test එක කියන්නේ ජාන test එකක් නෙමෙයි. ඒක තමයි පළවෙනි දේ. ඉතින් අපේ ඇඟේ නිපදවන අපි මේ අපේ ඇඟ ඇඟට ගිහිල්ලා තියෙනවා නම් संपूर्णीजेंटिजेंट प्रोटीन में टेस्ट्स एवा डीएनए टेस्ट्स हर हिमने में एवा प्रोटीन अंदरागनी में टेस्ट्स हम्म ओके थैंक यू सर सर वी हैव आर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हाउ कॉमन आर काइमेरास एंड हाउ कैन आई टेल इफ आई एम वन हाउ कॉमन आर काइमेरास वेल लेट मी आंसर इट दिस वे um so we um inherit our what we call the germ line genome from our parents right uh, we inherit the germ line genome from our parents and uh, let's say we have 46 chromosomes so a normal person um has 46 chromosomes and um, we have inherited a complete set of normal genes from our parents and when our cells start dividing after a while it is possible suddenly the cell division doesn't happen properly and one extra chromosome can go to an uh, one side of one cell and when that happens what can happen you may have one set of cells with the normal number of chromosomes those are the cells dividing normally another set of cells with extra with extra chromosome and another set of cells with a chromosome missing now the set where the chromosome is miss uh, cells with the chromosome is missing it won't survive it will die and then you will be left with uh, chromosomes uh, cells with normal chromosomes and cells with a extra chromosome some most of the time that cells with the extra chromosome also dies except for the commonest one we encounter in our clinical practice is the extra chromosome 21 children with down syndrome i showed you earlier mosaic down syndrome they have one set of normal uh, cells with normal chromosomes another set of cells with the extra chromosome 21 so that's the commonest mosaic system uh, that we see now so that's a extreme situation you will uh, have you know obviously you have a illness that you can see but now as all our cells are dividing at the, uh, even at chromosome level sometimes let's say in bone marrow you can get a abnormality and if that abnormality can cause cancer what what happens then they will develop leukemia that's what happened so you are now a set of cells have uh, changed and have acquired a, a chromosomal abnormality and that abnormality causes cancer and therefore you develop leukemia and that kind of thing happens so all these children little children who develop uh, leukemia their chromosomes in the bone marrow have 
acquired a new change, which was not there when they got the chromosomes from the parents, right? Um, similarly, um, that kind of change keeps on happening in all our, uh, 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 all our cells. Um, that, uh, some of them make us sick, others are not important and so on. So when you become an adult sometimes, um, when you are an adult, your cells in the, let's say the breast can undergo a genetic change and that change may be causing cancer and then you develop breast cancer. Sometimes uh, there can be a change and that change happens in the colon and then you get a colon cancer. Like that, you can, uh, these things can occur, right? So the mosaicism or different chromosomal changes are there in all of us. When the cells are divided, these things happen. But we have mechanisms in our body to get rid of these cells. So as a result of that, we don't um, fall sick, right? Now, during this one hour that we were together, how many cell divisions would have happened in our body? Trillions of cell divisions would have happened. So we are not the same person we were uh, one hour ago. Um, we have changed. We have acquired new mutations. Um, some of those mutations may be bad mutations and we may be developing a cancer, you know, you never know. Um, but our body, the system will come and, you know, get rid of these cells. And that's why we don't develop uh, cancer. But um, uh, if you are not, um, you know, uh, so, uh, so therefore it is important. It's, you know, bad habits, smoking, alcohol. I mean, after all, I mean, children, uh, you know, when you're a teenager, you go to big matches and you will you know, do all kinds of things. But at the end of the day, we have to understand that uh, bad habits like smoking, alcohol, uh, junk food, all of that contributes to, um, uh, con contributes to, um, uh, you know, uh, development of these genetic changes in our body and us developing um, uh, 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 developing um, various illnesses. Now, even if you look at, um, um, even if you look at um, uh, COVID, there was an interesting study which was done in uh, UK and US and some European countries. They look, uh, they look at all the doctors and nurses who got COVID and they looked at their food habits. They found that um, if you uh, are a vegetarian, you don't develop severe symptoms. If you are uh, only eating fish, you don't develop severe symptoms. It's only the non-vegetarians who are at three times higher risk of developing severe symptoms, right? The complications and so on. I'm also not a vegetarian, but you know, you have to look at the, uh, the, the data. That, that's what the data is showing. Uh, showing you. So therefore, like we are a combination of our genes, combination of the food that we eat and what else? What's the other thing that's inside us more than our genes? Anyone? What's, um, are we just only the human genome? What else do we have? So someone has responded, we have uh, monkey genomes too, hmm? evolution. Someone has responded that uh, we have ape genomes from evolution. No, <laughs> that's not what I meant. <laughs> so I, I don't think we, we know enough. Um, that, I mean, we all believe as uh, scientists in evolution, but uh, I don't know whether the, uh, 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 whether the monkey came first or we came first. Uh, somebody asked me the other day, uh, if we came after the monkey or the chimpanzee, why is the chimpanzee still there? So <laughs> I don't know the answer to that. <laughs> All the chimpanzees should have become human. Uh, so why is the chimpanzee still there? <laughs> so <laughs> so <laughs> can you give an answer to that? So these are, uh, you know, so uh, it's not um, the ape genome or whatever. Uh, so, um, 
you know, within us, we have all kinds of bacteria and viruses living, right? If you, you know, take a swab from your ear and check, there'll be lots of bacteria. If you take a swab from your mouth, nose, gut, uh, rectum, we have more bacteria living with us than our own genome, right? We are an aggregate of all of that. And that is the, uh, you know, the bigger uh, genome that is, uh, so there are other genomes and interacting with our own genome. So, I mean, I'll tell you an interesting thing. I was having a discussion with uh, the professor of microbiology uh, in the uh, professor of parasitology yesterday in our faculty. And uh, you know what, when we were children, our parents used to give us uh, worm treatment every three months, right? So, um, and uh, so we were getting uh, worm treatment every three months. Do your parents give you worm treatment every three months? Probably not. I don't give my children worm treatment um, because we've eliminated, you know, um, poop worm and all these worm, uh, worm conditions. But, uh, uh, but what is the, um, so, but in the past, all these guys were living inside us, right? Was there any benefit of this, uh, you know, uh, these, um, uh, you know, worms living in us? Probably there was, because our immune system adapted, right? So in the past, when we were children, there were very few children with conditions like asthma, which are, you know, which have a immune issue. But today we have a lot of children with conditions like asthma, allergies, and things like that. Because the natural, um, you know, uh, things that we were exposed to in the past, they are not exposed to because we have eliminated all of these things. Um, so now they are looking at seeing, can you actually take parts of these worms and give them to uh, people to get their immune system to adapt so that it's another way of treating these um, uh, conditions, right? So what happens when you, for example, take Coca-Cola? Uh, you take Coca-Cola, it'll go and kill all the good bacteria in your gut. That's what happens. The chemicals in that will go and kill all the good bacteria in your gut. So uh, um, when we take food, if the good bacteria were there, they would get rid of some of the harmful things in the food and we will not absorb it. But we take, you know, some things like the fizzy drinks, Coca-Cola and so on, our good bacteria is gone. And now we don't have the protection that comes from that. And we take in the stuff that our genome is unable to handle. That's another way of looking at that. Yeah, okay. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, we have another question. Uh, it is like this. Puluang, um, uh, then Dolly the sheep, him had the aiman, cloning willing. Have I eating acre? Kernegle is a possible name. Mukada, I mean, I could own a tarang. Begging anything, a current bag in Kerlak, a trial and error experiment spelling had done a pull on anything, had the poor Nitaranga, where Satu Varga in Nama. Um, have I, um, uh, acre, um, then Etanakarna de Captiano, I mean, um, Sarlutra, then Nutica Kamari, have I a Mamut Sakarana, then a Pipaluot the Hema, uh, a pea. 
අලුත් ජීවියෙක් හදනවා නම් අපි ඒ ගන්න පටකේ මුළු පටකේ මාර ගන්න බෑනේ පටකේ අම්පිස සයිලයක් අරගන්න ඕනේ ඒකට අපි ප්‍රාථමික සයිලයක් ගන්න ඕනේ මොන හරි අපි එකට ගන්න ස්ටෙම් සෙල් එකක් ගන්න ඕනේ ආම් ස්ටෙම් සෙල් එකට මම දන්නේ ඔයගලගේ පොතේ පාවිච්චි කරන වචනේ මොකක්ද කියලා සිංහලෙන් ආම් මේ ස්ටෙම් සෙල් අර එකක් අරගෙන ඒක විකාශය කරන්න ඕනේ අනිත් හැමදේම හැදෙන්න පුළුවන් විදිහට ඉතින් එහෙම කරන්න නම් අපි ගන්න ඕනේ ස්ටෙම් සෙල්ස් කලල වලින් ඉතින් අපි වෛද්‍ය ශාස්ත්‍රයේ කලල වලින් සයිල අරගෙන ඒ කටයුතු කරන එක ගැන මේ ඒට අනුමැතිය සාමාන්‍යයෙන් ලැබෙන්නේ නැහැ ඉතින් මේක නිසා ඒ වගේ පරීක්ෂණ කෙරෙන්නේ නැහැ ඉතින් ඒක නිසා ඒට කලල වලින් ගන්න බැරි නිසා තමයි ඔය පටක වලින් අරගෙන කරන්න හදන්නේ එතකොට පටක වලින් අරගෙන කරන්න හදනකොට කරන්න දේ තමයි ඒ පටකේ තියෙන සයිල අරගෙන ඒක කන්වර්ට් කරන්න ඕනේ පස්සට ඒ කියන්නේ එම්බ්‍රයෝ එකේ තියෙන කලරේ තියෙන සයිල එකට කන්වර්ට් කරන් කරලා භාවිත කරන්න ඕනේ දැන් ඒක කරන්න පටන් ගත්තා අවුරුදු දැන් මම හිතන්නේ අවුරුදු 10ක් 12කට විතර උඩදී තමයි ඒ තාක්ෂණය මුලටම ආවේ එකට කියනවා ඉංග්‍රීසියෙන් කියනවා ඉන්ඩියුස් ප්ලූරිපොටෙන්ට් ස්ටෙම් සෙල්ස් කියලා IPS කියලා තාක්ෂණය ඒක කරහම දැකපු දේ තමයි අපිට පස්සට ගෙනියන්න පුළුවන් පස්සට ගෙනිහිල්ලා ඒ සයිල නැවත විභාජනය කරන්න පටන් ගත්තාම සයිල බෙදීමට ලක් කරන්න පටන් ගත්තාම ඒ සයිල ස්ථාවර නැහැ ඒ සයිල ස්ථායි නැහැ they are not stable ඒ සයිල වල නොයෙකුත් වර්ණ දේහ වෙනස්කම් හටගන්න ඉතින් අන්න ඒක නිසා ඒක කරන එක හැමෝම දැන් අලලා දාලා තියෙනවා ඉතින් ඒක නිසා අර මේ වදිහ බලන එක පිටිතක් නවත්තලා දාලා තියෙනවා දැන් Okay. Sir, we have another question. Uh, do genetic information affect brain capacity? <laughs> do benefit, uh, well, genetic information affect brain capacity. Um, now, if we, we can approach it in... Uh, the answer would be yes uh, why because we know there are certain people when there is uh, there are genetic changes they will be mentally subnormal right so uh, therefore um, so we can have an answer that way certain genetic changes make people subnormal mentally subnormal so therefore obviously there is a genetic effect on uh, the brain capacity in terms of uh, intellectual development in terms of uh, you know um, other things um, memory and so on as well you know, so okay sir sir we have our final question Uh, what advice would you offer to a student pursuing a career in genetics um it's an interesting field so i'm glad um, uh, you asked that question so if you want to get into um, uh, genetics um, as a doctor then you will need to uh, you know first become a doctor go to medical school get a medical degree and thereafter pursue uh, a career to become a clinical geneticist so that is the way to go so you have to first get your medical degree and then sub specialize uh, or specialize in uh, medical um, uh, clinical genetics that way then you will start seeing patients with clinical diseases uh, diagnosis uh, 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 start uh, seeing patients with genetic diseases then you will start um, 
you know, treating them, diagnosing them, treating them, you know, helping them, counseling them, and all kinds of things. Uh, if you want to, now there are again uh, two types of doctors, I should say. There are those doctors who go and do what I just told you clinical geneticists. Then there are also doctors who uh, do the lab work, um, uh, who ask uh, what we call molecular pathologists. They are, they are that group as well, or you know, doctors who have specialized in genetics uh, in the lab. So that group is also there. So in Sri Lanka, in the future, for you, those are if you enter the medical field, that is the option. When I was, you know, entering medical field twenty years ago, uh, I didn't have that option. So I could only do a PhD. That's why I went and did a PhD, and then I came back to Sri Lanka and I was involved in setting up this. Uh, Thing. So I took the lead in setting up uh, the clinical pathway for doctors to do the uh, uh, become clinical geneticists. There are other doctors working on uh, creating the laboratory pathway to become laboratory geneticists. Um, that's if you are become a doctor. If you don't want to uh, do medicine, then you can uh, medicine or dentistry or things like that and go through those pathways. Then. Um, by the way, you can't become a dentist and become a clinical geneticist, right? So if you become a dentist, uh, you will not become a clinical geneticist. You will be only, you may have the option of doing laboratory uh, genetics, but not clinical genetics. Uh, if you become a scientist, then of course, um, you will have to do a PhD and then pursue a career, career in science. So we have um, molecular so in the faculty of medicine in Colombo, we've got uh, molecular uh, biologists, those who have done a BSc in science and a PhD in science and coming and becoming molecular biologists. Then even in our science faculties, we have um, uh, those who, are, who have done, uh, done uh, uh, again, a BSc um, and then PhDs and so on. You can also do MSCs. So now, for example, we run a course where students are doing MSC in uh, molecular pathology and so on. So those options are also there. Um, so, um, but, um, you know, with the future in mind, genetics is the, um, you know, uh, place to be in. 20 years ago, when I was like in 1996, when I passed out as a doctor, I, want, I said, I want to do genetics. People were asking me, are you mad to do genetics? Nobody wants to do genetics. But uh, uh, today, um, uh, the situation has changed. Genetics is everywhere in the field of medicine. And in the future, it will be uh, more and more. Okay. So it's a good field to get into, if you want to. OK, thank you, sir. Uh to add to that question, we actually have another one, uh, which requests advices for school students uh, when in school. Advices that they can apply to their school life. Uh, I, I didn't. I didn't follow you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so so they're requesting advices that they can implement into their school life uh, on the path to becoming a genetical engineer or in that field. Yeah, I think. Um, I mean the. Um, the thing is, um, okay, let me, um, uh, you know, answer that question in, uh, in a different way, right? So today, to acquire knowledge, you don't have to go to any school or any university, right? Knowledge is on demand. So uh, there's a lot of knowledge out there uh, in the, on the web, um, on YouTube. You can listen to the best, uh, um, uh, best um, uh, scientists in the world uh, um, uh, on YouTube uh, if you want to. So, for example, if you want to um, uh, look at uh, uh, genetics, uh, uh, one of the organizations that I am involved in um, uh, internationally, where uh, we are doing um, a lot of work um, promoting genetics and so on is an organization called G2MC. You can go and look at g2mc.org. Uh, you can also go to the G2MC um, um, 
MC um, um, YouTube channel. And uh, look, we just completed one of our conferences this past three days. So you can acquire knowledge. You can see how people are using genetics, genetic information and so on and applying it. And then of course, um, you need to basically, um, I think the main thing is once you acquire that knowledge of what people are doing, you must start talking about it, right? So one of the things that I find because students are coming to us after A-levels, as I said, you know, the first department that you will come in the medical school is uh, the department of anatomy and we meet them. And what we find is students are very good. They, uh, they know that they have knowledge, but they don't know how to apply that knowledge. So although you, um, you learn all this genetic for A-level, when you come to me in the first, first, uh, first, uh, uh, first year of medical school, and if I ask you a genetic question, the, a uh, the students pretend that they have never heard genetics. Right? So we have been wondering why are they like this? You know, we know that all the genetics is taught, in, although in Sinhala, it's taught. So you must be uh, uh, knowledgeable. Why are they not answering the questions? That is because you just acquire the knowledge, but you don't apply that knowledge. So how do, how do you start applying that knowledge? It should not be just listening to uh, people speak, but once you get and you get some ideas, you all should get together and talk about that. Now, some of the things that I told, I told you today, you can talk about it. Chromosomes, what are the chromosomes? What do you do with them? You must talk about it. And then you must all get together and talk of oh, how can we apply this knowledge? Um, and then when you, uh, you know, start talking about it, newer ideas and newer discoveries will come. So um, people will ask now, if you, for example, you have heard about university rankings, right? Um, if you heard about university rankings, they'll say, okay, University of Colombo in times and higher edu education ranking is University of Colombo is 1000 and University of Peradini is 500 and another university is somewhere. So what's the difference? At the level of teaching, all international universities are the same. Like sometimes you can say even our universities may even be better than some of the international universities in the level of teaching. But in the level of discovery, we are poor. Why? Because our tradition has always been just acquiring knowledge. We are not applying it and thinking of how to make new things with that knowledge. So that is what you must do. So, um, you know, as the science society, not only about genetics and um, uh, genomics, but also about other things, other science talks that you get. This talk should be followed by uh, discussion groups amongst uh, in, in your society on how can we apply this knowledge? What can we do with this knowledge? Uh, and uh, so on. So um, that will result in new ideas and new uh, discoveries. And if you have some new ideas like that and if you want to do something, then of course the faculty, uh, you know, uh, the school may not have the facilities to do that. But if you were to then reach out to universities, professors, and say, so we have this uh, idea of what uh, doing, uh, you know, how can we do that? Then we would definitely be able to take it on and do. I have had uh, um, uh, students coming and working with me after A levels. And um, um, some of them are, have now almost become professors. Uh, and uh, so um, in the past, um, I think when there was some curriculum change in the A-levels, we had uh, students come from school coming and uh, you know coming to us with ideas. But then I think the curriculum went back again and the students don't do those projects anymore and they don't come to us and talk. But um, these are good 
uh, things. Um, so you must move away from just listening to people. But uh, once you listen to people, um, you, um, uh, you, you um, have to start applying that knowledge. I will tell you a story uh, because stories are important sometimes to understand. Um, I, I travel around the world. I, I've gone to many countries um, and uh, visited many of my friends who are from all over the world in various scientific fields. And uh, so um, about uh, five years ago, I, was, I went to Singapore to visit one of my friends uh, 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 in the genomic uh, Institute of Singapore. So Genomic Institute of Singapore was one of the big facilities set up by the Singapore government to set up innovation. And uh, so my friend actually had come from Canada and joined that institute. And uh, so I asked her, how do you compare the Singapore students with the Canadian students? And her answer was um, that the Singapore students, uh, students meaning, she, she said, the postdocs, that is those people who have got PhDs, are uh, the level of the first year undergraduates of Canada. Then I asked her why. She said, they don't think, and then they don't discover new things. They just keep on repeating the same old thing. Um, and that's our culture too. Like, you know, we uh, read a lot of books, we memorize a lot of things and we repeat the same thing. Uh, we don't make much discoveries. Uh, and that is why we have to get everything from abroad. Like we have to import everything from abroad. At the moment, we are not producing new knowledge. We are not producing new ideas. We are not producing new things. We are dependent on everything coming from, um, from places where they are making discoveries. Uh, South Korea was somewhere like that. As you know, in the 1950s, when Sri Lanka became uh, uh, independent, uh, Sri Lanka was actually the uh, second richest country in Asia behind uh, Japan. Japan was number one, Sri Lanka was number two. Um, South Korea was way down. Uh, it was uh, a very bad place. But they completely changed everything after the Korean War to discovery. So today, Korea is one of the number one discovery places in the world. Um, and that is why they have become so rich. Right? So it is uh, uh, the application and the discovery is the important thing. And you got to also change. Uh, the way you, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, got to change, moving on to application and, um, uh, and um, innovation from just knowledge acquisition and repetition. So that's where you must do that change. So start discussing, set up discussion groups, discussing what you can do with these technologies, and what kind of discoveries you will be make, able to make. Okay. Okay, thank you, sir. Everyone, that concludes the questions and answers session. Next up, I would like to invite the chairman for Synexus 21, Abhishek Gunavardhana, to deliver the vote of thanks. Thank you, Dulan. In conclusion of the day, Synexus Lecture Series, organized by the Royal College Science Association. As the project chairman for this project, it's my utmost pleasure to express my gratitude to all who have contributed in many ways to make this event a great success. First of all, I wish to express my sincere gratitude to Professor Vajir Desanayaka for your useful and supportive lecture for all TLN wide students. And also, I would like to give our grateful thanks to our dear principal, sir, vice principal, senior master in charge of clubs and societies, senior games master, teacher in charge of our Royal Science Association, teachers, and all prefects for their guidance and for their continued support for this project. Next, I would like to give my thanks to project chairman, project 
uh, committee for organizing this wonderful session to a reality. So I'm ending my word of thanks by thanking the audience and all the identified participants who always kept trust on us and joined this session today. You all have given us the strength, support, and courage to do these kinds of projects in future and as well and as well as in the present. So thank you all and have a great day. Thank you, Aya. Okay, so a quick notice for everyone. There is a feedback form in the chat and I request from you that you take a moment of your time to give us your valuable feedback as it helps us to improve our quality of delivering in the upcoming lectures. Okay, everyone, that concludes this lecture. It really was a very valuable lecture, and I hope you gained as much value as I did. Join us again on the next day for our next lecture. I'm Dulvan from the Media Unit of Royal College, and I hope you have a great day.